morning, Brenda. Welcome to Skill. We're pretty excited to have you here today. We're going to take a little tour of three of our programs. Two of them, Fire and Rescue and our EMT program, are located over at Oregon Navis. So for logistical reasons, we won't get a chance to visit. But those are our rookie programs. Uh, this is the very first year for them. And they're off and flying. We're pretty proud of them. Uh, both programs are getting ready to take certification tests. Skill was actually begun back in 1999. It's, it's a pretty cool story. We are like the little cousin to economic development and some very wise folks that had some far-sighted vision decided that if industry was going to be brought into Stark County that things that was necessary was a training workforce and we didn't really have much of that back then so they started skill with that intent uh, it was just the auto tech program which we'll see in just a minute and first year for that was 2000 so we're in our 20th year for auto tech we're pretty proud of that this is my 10th year and when I first came, the only program we had was auto technology, and we had 35 students. Pre-COVID, on our existing programs at that time, the three of them, we had 180. So we're pretty proud of our expansion, and we'll also get a chance to see our welding program and our robotics program. So come on inside, and let's take a look at auto tech. Okay, this is kind of the heartbeat of our operation. This is Linda Lewandowski. Hello. You may know her from Kids Closet fame. In fact, I would recommend that that would be a nice feature also for the chamber. Would We've done take, one. They've uh, done one. Oh, well, show off. <laughs> um, everything kind of transfers through Linda, whether it be payroll, attendance, uh, trying to keep track of seven, eight instructors, keeping me in line. Some way or another, she manages to do all of that and be the official passer outer of masks. <laughs> Let's go out and shop and see Auto Tech. Okay. Okay, this is Auto Tech. That young man that seems to be in some kind of prison really isn't. That's our, our tool crib, where especially tools need to be checked out. Uh, he takes care of that. We do a rotation with our students that throughout the course of the year, everybody will serve from taking care of custodial duties to uh, clear up to being a shop foreman and overseeing things. Um, only one person gets to order parts, only one person gets to spell tools, and that's over the course of a week. And everybody throughout the year gets a chance to do that. We have some of the finest facilities and tools of any program, any place in Northern Indiana. And our students' success with, uh, whether it be Skills USA competition or how many ASC national certification tests they passed, uh, kind of bear that out. In fact, it's kind of neat because both of our instructors, both our first year and second year, are ex-skill students. So it's kind of kind of cool because they get a chance to kind of help the continue of skill philosophy. I realize that some of these guys aren't going to be able to go, hey mom, I'm in this video. Instead it'll be, hey mom, look at my boots in the bottom half of my body <laughs> peeking out from under this, uh, this van. This particular van is uh, one of the church vans in town. We help out and try to help with non for profits, folks that might be down on their luck, the elderly, as far as uh, doing repairs on their vehicles. We don't just take in people from off the street because then we'd be in competition with the, the shops in town, and we hope that eventually they're going to hire our students, so we certainly don't want to upset them. Um, we can go all the way over and we can see that. In addition, the fire truck outside that was donated by the city of North Judson, we've got an ambulance here for our EMS program. 
that was donated by Stark County. We'll be having a presentation on that soon. We're in the process of getting it running where it goes more than 15 feet without dying at the present time. Um, we're lucky enough <clears throat> through Albert Hanselman and the Perkins, Perkins Foundation to get funds donated for equipment for not only our ongoing programs, but also for these new programs. I mean, when you're talking about fire equipment for X number of students and get them geared out and equipment, same thing for our EMS students. Um, you know, the stuff that they've got over there is literally like a, a small emergency room that they have to be trained on. In fact, if you want to come over here, we can take a peek in the back of the ambulance. You'll even see we've got a new gunny. And once we get it over to Oregon Davis, we'll be fully equipped as far as all the little containers build up. Now the EMS students wanted me to volunteer on their strap down of a patient. <laughs> They wanted me to volunteer to be that patient on the gurney. I've been very hesitant because I've been afraid that they wouldn't hook up the wheels. We'd take a turn, the gurney would go flying out, and I would be a YouTube star as the gurney goes rolling down the road with me on it. So I've stayed away from volunteering for that and for being their subject for when they're doing injections. I'm just saying you use grapefruits, okay, guys? <laughs> So we take a lot of pride in the fact that our programs are very interconnected. Uh, there are times when our welding program needs the automotive, our auto pro automotive program needs something welded. Obviously with our fire truck or with our, our, our ambulance, that something needs to be done. We also promote that the instructors work well together, that the students work well together. So if we have a uh, a community activity like our leaf raking, all of our students were involved in it, in all of our programs. If we have something uh, like a cookout or a pizza party, all of our students are included in on it. When we have graduation, which in May, this strange facility gets turned into an auditorium mm -hmm. that will have over 300 people at that graduation. And all of our seniors and all five of our programs will be here. So that's pretty cool. And we always get kind of excited about graduation time. It's a lot of work, but it's pretty neat because we single out our students. And some of them may not be recognized for some of the other things when they go through their traditional high school graduation. And we have scholarships available. We'll give out about $60,000 worth of scholarships between all of our programs at our graduation. So that's coming up in May. We just set the date for it three days ago. It's May 25th. Put it on your calendars. And let's head over and see what's going on at welding. Okay. <laughs>